Welcome back to my Final Fantasy XIV drama series. Today's drama story is about auction awkwardness. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. <laughs> Why does this guy show so much? <laughs> this eye cam is rigged, man. It's showing the same people. <laughs> They're spamming smiling, that's why, that's why. Okay, first story. Hi, Patra. I have a title for this story. Auction Awkwardness. If you aren't aware of the side of RP slash ERP slash club scene called auctions, I'll give you some inside knowledge on the subject and how all this works. First, let's start with the club scene. There is a wide variety of clubs to choose from. You have your burlesque and strip clubs, where they don't usually offer ERP services, but they do offer RP services with a show. If you have the special Nintendo friend code, wink wink. Then you have clubs with ERP services, and the people who provide those services are sometimes called courts. These people charge a flat fee for a half hour to an hour and a half. These clubs tend to be more into high protocol and focused on the clientele getting their services from the staff. High protocol is a kind of strict etiquette that is followed in BDSM settings. It is like the rules that define the roles in the power exchange. Then you have the ones I frequent the nightclubs at these venues rp happens openly but erp is kept to tells slash party slash alliance chat unless you happen to be me and miss tell an entire paragraph of very lewd erp directly into yell chat on a fairly frequent basis dude that is so embarrassing <laughs> <laughs> Are you like, hey, yo, in the yell chat, in the piss chat, ERP right there. At the nightclubs, they conduct raffles and gill giveaways, offer different kinds of gambling, as simple as death roll or as complex as blackjack. Yeah, remember last, or was it two Saturdays ago? Two Saturdays ago, we had a community outing and we went to different clubs on Ether and also on Crystal. And one of them had blackjack. And uh, I was like, how much? And it was like 250 gil to play. And I was just like, nope. <laughs> I like my money, okay? I, I wasn't gonna gamble that, that amount. If it was 50K, sure. But like literally the sprout in my community was also like doing blackjack and like it made me seem so bad that like I was an old player already and my sprout was gambling. <laughs> and guess what? They all lost their money. Nobody won anything, okay? So I think I made the right decision. Death roll starts with each player rolling from 1 to 10 and the highest number does a slash random slowly back and forth whittling that number down until the loser hits zero. There is great music by Twitch DJs sometimes and I love to go to the clubs for that reason too. But the main reason I would go to a club is auctions. To auction myself off for money. Sometimes the nightclub will take a cut from your auction price. I refuse to go to any auctions that are any more than 10 slash 90, meaning the club would take 10% commission and I would get the remaining 90%. What is even better for me is if I get zero slash 100 auctions where I would get all of my asking price. So at these auctions, you basically sell yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we went to a club with an auction, so I know what they're talking about. And you know what? It's so funny because we were like, we're going to buy a person. We're going to buy a person. Someone in my Discord bid on someone and they won. I don't know. They got them for 1.5 million. And we were all dressed up in ice blue attire that night. So the first thing we made them do was wear ice blue and just follow us around in our club hopping. So at these auctions, you basically sell yourself. I'll give you a quick example of my advertisement for my girlfriend experience. 
feeling lonely, bored, stressed, or just need a shoulder to cry on, I offer full girlfriend services, including RP slash ERP hype girl, your own personal therapist, or just your personal G pose doll. You'll get me for one week on your time. We can coordinate through Discord, and if I break 1 million gil, I will create a G-Pose set for you to use. I am also penis phobic, so no boys or fem plus, please, and thank you. One week? One week is a long time! And for a million gil? Okay, I guess that do be out there. A week? Excuse me? I thought they were just for a night. Yeah, one mil's pocket change. If it's one week, you gotta sell yourself higher, mate. But you know, you can't really you can't really know what people are gonna bid on you, so I guess there's that. But damn, one week. And then people bid on you. I usually go for one to thirty mil. Damn. And in this story, I sold for twenty mil to a cat girl. This girl quickly showed me that she was attention starved and that she had low confidence. So my extroverted booty got to work. <laughs> extroverted booty. I got to know them, treating her how I would treat anyone I was dating. Giving good muning, instead of like good morning, good muning messages because they're cats. And talking throughout the day. I learned about their hobbies and likes. I was actually very interested in what they were up to since they did modding on the side and even offered to make mods for me. During the first few days, I did this and things were great. They would say to me, I know it's temporary, but thank you. They were very sweet and fun to hang out with. They never pressured me to ERP either, but by the fourth day, I started realizing I needed to remind them that this was just a service I was offering and that it would have an end. After reminding them, they offered to continue buying me again the next week. They were getting seriously attached to me. They were saying to me, you're mine. I want to keep you forever. I'm in love with you. I stopped her there and explained that this is not a phrase I would ever even use if we were dating. I have trauma from the past and I auctioned myself so that I can have companionship without the added stress of commitment. After that, she became moody and withdrawn. Naturally, I got worried and reached out to her. She angrily lashed out at me. She blamed herself and she would go on and on about it. This isn't uncommon to encounter when selling services like this. I once had to blacklist and block a client because they were too creepy and possessive. The redeeming feature to this encounter was that the next day she said, I'm sorry, but I think I'm going to need to end your services early. I'm way too attached. This caught me off guard because most people aren't that self-aware with me. So I gave her extra space. And currently, she is the only client I've stayed friends with. Fair warning to anyone and everyone wanting to join the club scene. It is absolutely filled to the brim with drama and creepy people. Yes, it's still fun. Yes, you should still go. But just be careful. If you're a fragile person, because it's super duper easy to get hurt in it. I haven't auctioned myself off in months now. A whole entire side of the community actually disowned me because I said that a certain big Twitch DJ streamer, which I'm sure you are all very familiar with, and their FC feels like a pay to play FC. And we're all just like, what? Who are you talking about? But that is another story. I know, I'm such a tease. So I just want to add that if you're a really good G pose artist, I highly recommend putting your skills up for auction. I've seen the good ones go for an easy 10 to 50 million gil. The end. Girl dropping some tea at the end. I know, right? <laughs> okay, I feel like this is like an advertisement in itself about the auction scene. 
Yeah, I would say nothing crazy drama wise, but I wanted to read it because I wanted to showcase the auction side in case anyone was interested. <laughs> That's what it's like. It would suck, right? If someone bought you for 1 million gil and you had to like hang out with them for a week. <laughs> You'd feel trapped. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this Final Fantasy XIV drama story. Remember, these are real people behind the stories and they're human and can make mistakes. They'll also be reading the comment section, so please try to have constructive criticism. There are always nicer ways to say something versus saying it meanly to help someone learn and grow. If you have any of your own drama stories that you'd like me to share and read out anonymously, feel free to reach out to my Discord, discord.gg patra.